Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. Now, nickel metals mining stocks have been on fire for the last few years and the underlying driving reason for that, one of the main reasons for that, is the revolution that we're currently seeing being played out in the electric vehicle, car and automotive sector. Now, one of the secret ingredients to the batteries in the EV world is uh, nickel. It's also lithium and I've looked at my favorite lithium stocks and done a video on that which I'll put again at the end of this video a link that you can follow if you want to see what I think there but in this video I'm going to focus on nickel and the nickel stocks and have a look at the market as a whole I'm going to give you an ETF that you could possibly you know follow and invest in and also I'm going to look at the pool of nickel stocks that I whittled down to just eight, which I think my favorites to take into 2022. Now, with all that lot, let's get started and take a look at those stocks. First of all, we're gonna have a look at nickel itself, and the best way to do that is look where it's traded. Now the biggest two overall markets for metals are the LME, London Metals Exchange and the Shanghai Exchange. And here we're looking at LME nickel and we can quite clearly see from spring of 2020 the massive growth in the price. It ties in nicely with the EV boom. And just going to have a look at inventories and stocks, see how they're doing. That's a guide to you know, supply and demand. You can see actually quite clearly that stocks have drawn, inventories have drawn down quite heavily, especially from spring of this year. From the EV boom, they started stocking up, went flat, and then pulled off massively. So if you wanted to invest directly in nickel, but you can't trade on the LME or Shanghai Exchange, what could you do? Well, you could maybe get your hands on an ETF. And what is a good ETF to look at? Well, I've got one here for you. Its ticket is JJN and it's the iPath A Series B Bloomberg Nickel Sub Index Total Return ETN. So we can see again price tying in nicely with the um, EV growth, very similar to the nickel price, so highly correlated. So that's why you could possibly invest in this one. But if you didn't want to trade directly, um, or invest in the like, ETF sector and you wanted to trade the stocks you could use this as a sort of sentiment gauge for the market you know that sector as a whole the nickel sector you know if it's looking bullish here then you go bullish those underlying stocks and vice versa so with that sort of background information to the nickel uh, price and market we can see it's very strong let's now take a look at my eight favorite stocks in the nickel mining sector and after that I'm going to go through briefly the pool of stocks that I picked from to get that down to eight. First up is Glencore PLC. Now you can trade them in the US. They are a UK company and the ticker in the US is GLNCY. In UK it's GLEN. Now they produce, refine, process, store, transport, trade, all various markets for metals and minerals and energies globally around the world. They're highly active, very successful in what they do. And that is my first selection. Now, second up is Materian. They're a US company, metals and mining in the materials sector. Now, a bit like Glencore, they're involved in all sorts of metals but they sell an advanced advanced engineer materials using like semiconductors industrial aerospace and automotive electronics all that sort of thing so they have a specialist interest in various metals nickel being one of them then we have nickel mines an australian company and they do what it says on the tin you know they produce and sell nickel pig iron used in the production of stainless steel next up we have a canadian company unsurprisingly clues in the name the canada nickel 
company and they explore and discover nickel sulfide assets and as you can see from the stock price been doing pretty well of late my fifth choice is a company called Haynes International they're US based and they develop manufacture and market distribute nickel and cobalt based alloys in sheet coil and plate forms you know internationally across the world and you know like I said come from the US and again one to watch over 2022 now Schnitzer Steel from Portland Oregon in the States they're heavily into their ferrous and non-ferrous metals recycling manufacturing on a worldwide basis heavily into the automotive sector and again doing particularly well over 2021 and 2020 so we're going to finish with two Australian companies. The first one is Igo Limited, and it's, like I say, a down under uh, company involved in exploration, mining, you know, discovering, developing, developing, operating various assets. But their real focus is on clean energy in Australia. And like I say they invest heavily in lithium mines. And like I said, because of that new EV boom that we've seen there also heavily into nickel now last up is western areas limited and they process sell nickel nickel sulfide concentrates and other base metals across australia and i think they are one to keep an eye on into 2022 now that's my eight and i'm expecting you to be thinking that i've left off some clangers from the list ones you'd have thought of um, investing and trading in well now I'm going to go through my pool I whittled down like I say to these eight and you'll have the chance to see whether you think that you know anything that I've missed is on that list so let's take a look at the wider picture of stocks to have a look at in this sector so if we broke the nickel stocks I'm looking at down by sector and industry, there's just the one sector, non-energy minerals, and by industry there was three. Half of it was metals, minerals, quarter precious metals, and a quarter steel. So let's take a look at those stocks. And actually there were 20 that I had on the list that I took down to the eight. And I'm just going to now very quickly take you through that list. So the first two on the list you might have thought that I'd included in my eight. There's BHP and Vale. And Vale did come very close to the list. Then we had Glencore and then Sibany Stillwater and Materian, Nickel Mines, Norilsk Nickel, then the Canada Nickel Company, Poseidon Nickel, Red Rock Resources, Polymet Mining, Haynes International, then we got Metchel and then Algany Technologies, Schnitzer, Rio Tinto, another one, another big company that might have made the list but didn't, and then Talon Metals. So that's the 20 that I looked at. So if you don't agree with the eight, then you know maybe have a look at the wider 20, or if you know any stocks that I haven't put on the list, that you think should be included want me to have a look at then you know let me know in those comments below this video i'm happy to take a look love to hear your thoughts so i hope you found the video useful we've had a look at the current state of the nickel market giving you an etf that you could possibly invest in if you want to get a more macro picture of what's going on also giving you eight stocks that I think are very strong in that sector plus a pool of 20 to draw from and if I've left any off then you know let me know like I said before in those comments but I can only see you know these type of stocks nickel lithium you know those special ingredients into the EV sector you know only holding their strength because of the huge growth as we're going to see over the next few years in electric vehicles in the automotive sector so with that thanks very much for watching good luck with the trading and i hope 
to see you in the next video. Thank you.